So apparently Inkscape just updated. Pulled in a, pulled it in when I did my Monjaro Linux updates. Fired up Inkscape and was greeted with a brand new welcome screen. Nice. Looks pretty good. So let's have a look. Uh, quick setup, canvas, default, dark, light checkerboard. Just um, let's go with let's go with dark checkerboard. Keyboard, I'm just going to leave it on the default, but it's got all these ACD system, ACD systems, Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw, Draw X8, Inkscape, Carbon Mac OS X, Macromedia Freehand, right-handed illustrations, Zara, Zoner Draw. Definitely going to leave it on the default Inkscape. That's what I'm used to. And then appearance these little icons down here will change as you change the appearance classic symbolic colorful grayscale compact small screens system defaults which is the same as classic we'll leave it on that we do have a, a switch for dark i'm not sure if there was already a dark mode but we have a switch right here on the launch screen a little support information tab and then the time to draw tab existing files i can click on one of them bring it right back up print not sure what this is for screen and not sure what this is for video same social now this is pretty cool because it has defaults for creating images in the specific size of whatever it says Facebook cover photo event image Facebook image post link image it's got uh, profile video Instagram LinkedIn snapchat Twitter that's actually really cool and then other it's got sizes for the standard about screen which is I guess they use the uh, and then icons, sizes, and an ID card. That's pretty cool. And you have a checkbox right here. It's not on either of the other tabs, but under time to draw, you have a checkbox that says, show this every time. I'm going to uncheck it. Hit new document. Yeah. That's what I'm used to. We'll jump in real quick. Go help about Inkscape. Inkscape 1.1 Sweet So if we jump on Inkscape.org real quick Go to the 1.1 About We can find out A little bit more information What's new What you can do, now do So among the highlights Welcome dialog we just looked at Command palette we'll look at shortly Revamp dialog docking system. I hope that's what it is. What I hope that is what I think it is because I really don't like the docking system that was there. But we'll go with that. Searchable preferences, searchable preference options, which is really good because there's a lot of options in the preferences. So that's good. And new formats for exporting. And that's really good because I think you could only export in PNG. I could be wrong on that, but I think. So. Uh, we just got through looking at the welcome screen. That's a, a very nice addition. On the command palette, command search, command palette, opens with the touch of the question key. Enables you to search and use a variety of functions without having to resort to menus or shortcuts. You can edit, rotate, reset, among other commands that have already been converted to, quote, actions. More will be rolled out in the future versions of the program. Search for commands in both English and your own local language, too. So that's good. Next level docking experience. Our revamped dialog docking system works better and is more versatile, allowing you to dock your dialog boxes on either side of the workspace. That's cool. That's good. They are displayed as tabs, optionally with labels or icons. When you've got a number of tabs open, they transform into icons. That's also really cool. Combine your favorite tabs, position your floating docks. Nice. 
And best of all, Inkscape now remembers your choices across sessions. That's uh, that did, awesome. Cool. So search preferences easily. That's kind of self-explanatory, but there are a lot of preferences in Inkscape, so being able to search is actually a really good thing. Double check when new display mode for those of you wrangling drawings with many layers. Our new outline overlay mode is worth investigating. It displays a muted view opacity of your drawing behind the object outlines that are click sensitive so you can make sure everything is in order. This is this new mode was developed by Javier Areza. I'm sure I didn't say that right. What's new with drawing tools, nodes, connectors, and selectors? The calligraphy tool has gained in precision while connection lines drawn with the connector tool now update in real time. You can now copy, cut, paste a selection of nodes with the node tool, insert them into the original path, a different one, or make a completely new one. Using this new feature implemented by Martin Owens, Experiment with the pen and pencil tools new scale option to set and uh, to set a the to set the width of a path created with shape option numerically. Activate the new selection mode for the lasso rubber band selection and select every box within every object within the box or touching its boundaries. And there's a nice little animated GIF here showing what they're talking about. Man, that's really cool. You can select parts of an image just by selecting the nodes, and you can copy-paste that part. That is cool. Introducing new Slice and Dice Live Path Effect, LPE. This new path effect allows you to split an object in two or more parts without destroying the original. You can change styles on both parts as each becomes a separate object. Again, we have this animated GIF and it is cool. They show on a heart, cutting the heart in half, and then moving the individual pieces around. And then the outline still shows the original heart. That is, that is cool. That's going to make, that's going to be used in ink stitch by me quite a bit. I'm pretty sure. So more live path effect changes. You'll see a number of fixes within the LPEs and in Inkscape and the Boolean operations. LPE is no longer experimental. Look for the fill between many LPE in the path menu to more efficiently fill variable width paths created using power stroke that's a diesel engine right bad joke and find improvements to the offset and taper strokes lpes the work on lpes was mostly done by javier reza choose a file extension for exporting the export png image dialog now exports pngs with one click instead of two you can also export different file name formats namely jpg WebP and TIFF, T-I-F-F, -F, along with optimized PNG. Sweet. Yes. Uh, there's a little bit more here. I'll link this in the uh, show notes, episode notes, whatever it's called. And uh, then you can just click on it and read if there's more you want to read. Download it. Yeah. This is really cool. This is just a quick overview of Inkscape 1.1. Brand new. I think it came out yesterday. Okay, it came out two days ago. I just got it. So, yeah, this is going to be cool. This is really good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Toodles.